Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about geometric acoustics. Now I've talked about this in, in other forms and fashions before, but let's back through it again because it's, it's really important and people just, they're not quite getting it yet. So remember, waves and rays, those are our two energy types. Waves are low frequency, rays are middle and high frequency. Both are different physics, different branches of physics. Waves are pressure based. And what's a good example of waves? The ocean. Okay, what's a good example of mids and highs? Sunshine. Now, what's the difference between the two? Okay, well, ocean, big pressure waves that oscillate throughout our room. Hopefully not in your room. <laughs> but sunshine is a straight line situation. So when we get straight lines all the time versus waves, then we have what's called geometry going on. Okay, and that was my favorite subject in school for some reason. And um, I like calculating angles. I like calculating the distance. Uh, and, and today, I think that's why I like to look at time signatures of reflections and stuff like that. But when it comes to rays, we're talking about geometry. So we have this room here. We have sources. And we have all kinds of reflections going on, okay? And it's, it's this complex zigzag pattern. And you can see in this graphic, just primary, secondary, tertiary reflections are represented here, but there are zillions of other ones. Um, I remember back in the uh, 80s and 90s uh, when we were looking at uh, ray trace programs, uh, computer modeling programs, and we used to put in some data and press start and then go to lunch because it would take it an hour or two hours to calculate all the, the reflections off all the wall surfaces, because there's so many, there's thousands of them. Floor to ceiling, um, sidewall to sidewall, front to rear. I mean, you have six surface areas that, that things are bouncing off of. So geometry is all about those reflections. So the, the angles in the room, the time it takes to get back to you, the distance involved, the strength of the reflection, all that has to be calculated. Remember, we have that direct versus reflected energy. The direct energy is the purest energy because it doesn't contain any reflections from the room. That's really what we, we want to hear most of. But we are sitting in a room, so we're bombarded with room sound, which is the reflections from the room. So our goal then is to reduce the strength of those reflections so we get a good balance between the direct and the reflected energy. So we look at time, distance, and amplitude, and the strength of all of these reflections, and we have our two treatment types. Now there's hybrids, I know, but there's just two main types. Don't let these other companies fool you into thinking they got some super, super duper diffuser, okay? It's just some modification on an existing one with some fancy marketing words. So absorption and diffusion. Absorption, we, we obviously, do an energy change, we create friction, we, and then generate heat, which makes an energy change. We reduce the strength of the energy. Diffusion, we don't reduce the strength of the energy. We reduce the strength of the reflection. We kind of take a big reflection and bust it up into little ones, so the brain has a hard time localizing. So we use the, the brain and our ear system to our uh, benefit acoustically with diffusion. So geometric acoustics, different than low frequency energy, which you know we're always talking about. It's more of a geometric uh, situation where we have a lot of predictability and consistency, and then we get the right rates and levels of treatment involved, and you can, you can manage rooms pretty well. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.